Hi, it's Robbie here. We've been doing a couple of cairn casts, we snippets, uh, we quick fire sessions in Maven, um, in Eden Lock, in Edinburgh, on George Street, uh, for the Fringe, for the Minor Figures um, event, which is happening here tonight. Um, and while we are doing it, we did get asked a couple of questions, so I thought I'd do a quick one-on-one uh, -on -one with the camera, I suppose, to answer these. Uh, these are both from uh, Cap James G, um, good lad. Uh, and they're both quite good questions, so I thought, let's, let's see what he's saying. So, first one is, how do you source your coffee? Um, so, thank you for the question. The, the way we source our coffee um, is, we've been quite transparent about this in the past, um, we don't go to origin uh, yet. It's something that we would love to do, um, but it's something that we're quite realistic about in terms of how we can actually impact farmers uh, at the size we're, we're at just now. Uh, we feel that our audience really um, wants uh, variety and wants, you know, seasonal um, changes in their coffee. And to that end, if we go to uh, Origin and we try and buy a huge amount of coffee, which would actually benefit the farmer and make it worthwhile for us to, to make that trip, then we're going to have that coffee for a long time, which is going to go against our kind of values of trying to be seasonal, trying to keep a, a varied lineup of, of fresh coffees. Um, so currently the way we source coffee is by working really closely with importers. Um, we get lots of samples of coffees that they brought in that they think uh, often they'll send them to us that they think will suit our um, approach, uh, our kind of profiles that we set, our orange, our reds, our greens, etc. Um, other times we'll look at their lists and say we'd love to try these 10, 20 coffees. And from that point, we'll do pretty thorough uh, sampling on the Akawa, and then we'll uh, do QC sessions, uh, usually myself, uh, Hannah and Kate in the roastery, but um, more commonly now, uh, I'm taking a back seat from those, um, but still very involved with the next stage, which is actually coordinating orders um, with these importers to, to secure a green in Edinburgh. Um, and the process then is, yeah, we'll, we'll buy either uh, a sack or, you know, up to, you know, recently we've done 10 pallets. It's probably our biggest order um, of a single coffee. Um, and we'll draw that down from warehouses around the UK. Um, uh, this is quite a thorough in-depth view of how we do it. But um, yeah, the, the trick is we don't want to draw down uh, too much. We don't want to have tons of coffee in our, our warehouse, our, uh, our roastery, which uh, isn't being used. Uh, and that's from uh, a financial cash flow point of view as much as anything else. Um, but uh, yeah, we like to just uh, store what we need. So we've got a good kind of eyes on approach of, of what we've got and what we're using. Um, I hope that makes some sense. I hope it answers your question. And thank you for your question. Um, the next question is also from James. It says, what is your favorite part about running Karen Gordon? I, and I listened to a really interesting podcast just on the way here where a guy who's actually Chris Baca from Cat and Cloud podcast. He was talking about how actually sometimes he questions if he actually does enjoy running a cafe or if, uh, if it's not for him. And uh, I would say um, it's a tale of two ends for most people who run cafes. Some days you wake up and you absolutely adore it. Some days you wake up and wonder if you do actually make a difference and if you're just a spare part in a cog that kind of runs itself. Um, I guess to that end, uh, both are a success. I mean, I, I really want to uh, succeed by running the cafe relatively self-sufficiently. Um, and that's why we've got really capable people helping in, in the business and uh, help me enormously um, running, running the show. So I guess my favorite part uh, about running the Karen Gorm is when it's a well-oiled machine and things happen without much value from me, um, even if that makes me feel like a spare part. <laughs> Um, but aside from that, I, I really enjoy the coffee aspects. You know, I enjoy uh, the romantic view of sourcing the coffee uh, and seeing it being roasted, seeing it being packed, seeing it go into our shops and then being served. Uh, so going into the cafe and having a flat white um, in the morning is very, uh, yes, yeah, it's a very romantic and uh, nice part of the process um, when I know what's gone into into uh, all parts of that process. So, yeah, I hope that answers your question and thanks for it. Cheers.